Good day everyone. So here is a video demonstration of how I coded the application that I've shown you yesterday or from the previous video. So from my user interface, so here is how I composed it. So I have here three different layouts. So one for the login screen. So I have here labels, two text box, and two buttons. Okay, and for my registration screen, so let me disable the visibility here. Okay, so for the registration screen, it's here. So labels, three text boxes and one button and for the main screen I only have here an image and a button okay so how did I added behavior on those components so before we go to the black tab of MIT app inventor for the behavior of our components let's set what specific layout for the opening screen should be shown so for my app it should be the login screen okay so once we open the application this one here should be shown okay so to add up behavior for this application let's go to the blacks tab okay and then what we want to have here is that once we log in okay into our application we should be redirected on the wait, okay so i accidentally disable the visibility for our register button so like that Okay, so first thing to happen in here is that if we click on login with the correct credential, we should be redirected on the main screen. Okay, and as we click the button register, say for example, we don't have an account yet, then we should be redirected on the registration form. Okay, so let's do that first, the registration form. Okay, so how are we going to switch up those layouts visibility okay so again if we click so we're here on the login screen layout so if we click the button register okay if we click on it so i drag a black code from the drawer element of the register button here when register register button that click Okay, what would happen so what I wanted to do is that the visibility of our login screen should be disabled so how to do that so let's go to the login uh, screen element here okay then the drawer will open and we just have to select the visible setup of the login screen so this one is called a setter code okay because we are going to set a value for a certain component and that is to disable the visibility of our login screen okay so for us to be able to come up with it we should get Okay, a boolean value here, true or false. So for this time, this should be disabled. So the visibility of login screen should be disabled. So the value should be false. Okay, so when this, so we, when we run this certain code, what we could see on the screen is that a blank screen. So there will be no visible layout, okay? But we wanted to see the 
registration screen. Okay, so what we have to do is just copy this one. Okay, and then again, a setter set of code. We have to set, okay, the registration screen to be visible. Okay, so we have to enable the visibility of the registration screen. So instead of false, we should set it as true. Okay, so as simple as that. Now, next, if we're done or if we are now in the... So once that code run, so the visibility of our legend screen will be disabled. And what would be shown is the registration screen. Next here is that once we input some value in the text fields, Okay, and once we click on the register as what I have shown you from the demonstration of the UI or how this application run. Okay, once we click on this, we should be then again re uh, redirected on the login the screen. Okay, so how to do that? So let's just copy this set of code because it's just the same. So copy and then paste. So we'll just change the variables so here are the variables okay variable for button um sign up okay because this one here my register button here is or has a variable name sign up okay so once i click sign up button there what i wanted to uh run and the application is that our registration screen should be invisible i mean the visibility of the registration screen should be disabled okay because we'll be going now to the login screen so next step or next code for that is our login screen's visibility should be set then as true okay so once we had or we run that code then the registration screen okay will be invisible now and what we will see is the login screen and the next behavior that we should be coding is that if we log in Okay, we should be redirected on the main screen, but okay, we'll not just click on the login then go there. There should be some conditional statements. Okay, like we should set some specific credential for us to proceed with the main screen. Okay, so how to do that? Okay, so let's go on the login screen and then click on the variable login button okay and get this black code so when button one was clicked so what would happen of course we have to have a conditional statement first so where will we get that so we'll go to the control drawer and get the if then else set of code okay so we'll be doing some procedures here a conditional statement procedure so if so when login button was click so what is what will gonna be our statement if okay if the username is so in my demonstration from the previous video, the correct credential is that the username should be Jonna and the password should be Lee. Okay, so the statement will be if the username is equal to Jonna and the password is equal to Lee, then if you click this login button, you will be redirected on the main screen. But if you input wrong credential, like say for example, username is Mary, and then the password is Jonah. So even if you click 
on the login button how many times you will not be redirected on the main screen because your input credential is wrong so how are we going to do that okay so we should have a comparison um, statement so to do that we have to go on the logic here and get this one because we'll be comparing comparison of two okay terms so here on the first term well let's have this one and get okay this one okay then copy and paste it then put it on the other side okay so in the first term we should set it as if the username is jonah so let's have the variable txt username okay so let's get that this one okay if the txt username text okay, wait so we should get specifically what property of the text or of the username okay so it should be the text okay so if the text value of the text box txt username is equal to jonah so let's have a blank text code here and input there jonah and okay the txt pass for the password input field so let's get the same block of code text pass txt pass is equal to let's have another blank text code here is equal to lean okay so now we have the statement the comparison statement dot if our txt username text is jonah and our txt pass text value is lean then okay we should be uh, redirected on the main screen so how to do that let's just copy this one so we are on the login screen so we have to set the visibility of that to false okay and then let's have the main screen to be visible okay set it as true so once our statement for the comparison is true then login screen visibility will be disabled and the user will be redirected on the main screen else okay so if you could still remember there is a warning on my app when i run it like when i input an incorrect credential it will give us a warning so this is not or i mean there is no database uh connected here yet okay there is no database yet and that will be discussed on our next videos so for now let's have the warning so i have there on the login screen i have there a space warning which is a label okay so for the warning i wanted to set the text value of that label into a warning message so let's have a text empty text code here and then say for example input username and password is incorrect say for example or invalid credential something like that okay for the warning so when we run this one if our credentials are correct then we'll will be redirected on the main screen but if not then a certain uh 
label there okay will a certain labels value will be uh, change into input username and password is incorrect or a warning message okay and then say for example our credentials are true so what would happen is that we should set again another set of code like this so we should copy this and paste okay so remember that we are now on the login screen so that would be then okay so we should set it as true uh false and then we will be oh sorry we are already on the main screen okay so main screen and what we have on the main screen is okay what we have here is the image and the logout button so once we are on the main screen what we have here is the button log out or log out button so once the users or the user click on that button the main screen should be or the main screen's visibility should be disabled and again will be redirected on the login screen okay so this is just a very simple uh, adding of behavior for our app authentication uh, process with no database yet okay so thank you so much for listening god bless everyone